Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, first of all, let us discuss discrete distribution and continuous distribution. Now, if a variable can take on any value between two specified values it is called a continuous variable otherwise it is called a discrete variable. Now some examples will clarify the difference between discrete and continuous variables. In the first example, let us suppose the fire department mandates that all firefighters must weigh between 150 and 250 pounds. The weight of a firefighter would be an example of a continuous variable since a firefighter's weight could take on any value between 150 and 250 pounds. In the second example, suppose we flip a coin and count the number of heads. The number of heads could be any integer value between 0 and plus infinity. However, it could not be any number between 0 and plus infinity. We could not, for example, get 2.5 heads. Therefore, the number of heads must be a discrete variable. And now let us discuss the binomial distribution. Now, a binomial distribution is one of the discrete probability distribution. Now it is used when there are exactly two mutually exclusive outcomes of a trial and these outcomes are appropriately labeled success and failure. The binomial distribution is used to obtain the probability of observing our successes in n trials with the probability of success on a single trial denoted by P. And the probability of occurrence of event E exactly R times in N trials is given by probability capital P of a random variable capital S is equal to R is equal to NCR into P raised to power R into 1 minus P whole raised to power N minus R. Where N is the number of events, R denotes the number of successful events, P denotes the probability of success on a single trial, 1 minus P denotes the probability of failure, and NCR is N factorial over n minus r whole factorial into r factorial. Now let us discuss an example. In this, a coin is tossed 12 times. Then what is the probability of getting Exactly 
seven heads. Now let us start with the solution. Now it is given that a coin is tossed twelve times, which means the number of trials n is equal to twelve. And we have to find what is the probability of getting exactly seven heads. Now here, the number of successful events, that is R, is equal to seven. Since we define getting a head as success. Now the probability of success on any single trial. That is the probability of getting a head on any single trial. That is p is equal to one by two, which is equal to zero point five. Now, by using this formula, we can find out the probability of occurrence of an event e exactly r times in n trials. Here we can also find. The probability of getting exactly seven heads in twelve trials. Now, first of all, let us find n C R, which is equal to n factorial over n minus r, the whole factorial, into r factorial. So this is equal to twelve factorial over twelve minus seven, the whole factorial, into Seven factorial, which is equal to twelve factorial over twelve minus seven, that is five factorial into seven factorial. Now this is equal to now twelve factorial can be written as twelve into eleven into ten into nine into eight into seven factorial. All of them, five factorial into seven factorial. Now seven factorial will be cancelled with seven factorial, and this is further equal to twelve into eleven into ten into nine into eight. All of them. Now five factorial is five into four into three into two into one. Now two into four is eight. Three into three is nine. Four will be cancelled with four, and five into two is ten. So this is equal to seven ninety-two. Now let us find p is to power r. Now p here is a zero point five. And r is seven, so p raised to power r will be equal to zero point five whole raised to power seven, which is equal to zero point zero zero seven eight one two five. Now let us find one minus p whole raised to power n minus r. Now this is equal to one minus zero point five whole raised to power. Now n here is. Twelve and R is seven, so this is equal to zero point five four raised to power five, which is equal to zero point zero three one two five. Now we have discussed a formula earlier, which is capital P, that is the probability capital P of a random variable capital X is equal to R is equal to N C R. Into p raised to power r into one minus p whole raised to power n minus r. Now putting the values of n c r, p raised to power r and one minus p whole raised to power n minus r, this will be equal to seven ninety two into zero point zero zero seven eight one two five. Into 0.03125, which on calculating will be equal to 0.1933593375. Therefore, the
the probability of getting exactly seven heads is zero point one nine. Now let us discuss the bar graph of a binomial distribution. Now we have discussed earlier that the binomial distribution is one of the discrete probability distribution and we can make histogram only for the continuous distribution. So here we have plotted only bar graph for binomial distribution. Now the binomial distribution is used when a researcher is interested in the occurrence of an event. For instance, in a clinical trial, a patient may survive or die. The researcher studies the number of survivors and not how long the patient survives after treatment. Now the binomial distribution is specified by the number of observations denoted by N and the probability P of occurrence. Now let us discuss a graph for the binomial distribution with parameters n is equal to 10 and p is equal to 0 0.20. Now let us discuss the first case when in 10 observations the preferred outcome occurs 0 times so in this case we have n is equal to 10, p is equal to 0 0.20 and r is equal to 0. That is here the number of successful events is 0. Then in this case the probability capital P of a random variable x which is equal to r is equal to mcr that is 10c0 into p raised to power r that is 0 0.20 raised to power 0 into 1 minus p whole raised to power n minus r that is 1 minus 0 0.20 whole raised to power 10 minus 0. Now on solving this is equal to now 10c0 will be 1 0 0.20 whole raised to power 0 is also 1 and 1 minus 0 0.20 that is 0 0.80 whole raised to power 10 is equal to 0 0.107. Now let us discuss the second case when in 10 observations the preferred outcome occurs only one time. So here R is equal to 1. So the probability capital P of capital X is equal to R is equal to 10C1 into 0 0.20 raised to power 1 into 1 minus 0 0.20 whole raised to power n minus r that is 10 minus 1 so this is equal to 10 factorial whole upon 10 minus 1 whole factorial into 1 factorial into 
0.20 into 0.8 whole raised to power 9. Now this is equal to 10 factorial upon 9 factorial. Now 1 factorial is 1 into 0 0.20 into 0 0.8 whole raised to power 9. Now on calculating this will be equal to 0 0.28. And so on, we can find the probability of prefer outcome occurs 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on times. Now let us see the bar graph for this binomial distribution. Now this is the bar graph for the binomial distribution which we have discussed now. That is, the binomial distribution with parameters n is equal to 10 and p is equal to 0 0.20. And here, the first bar shows that when in term observations, prefer outcome occurs 0 times, then the probability is equal to 0 0.107. And similarly, the second bar shows that when in term observations, prefer outcome occurs only one time, then the probability is 0 0.268. And similarly, we have drawn the bars for the other cases also. Now we know that the binomial distribution is one of the discrete probability distribution. So here we are plotting only the bar graph for the binomial distribution. Now a classic example that is used often to illustrate concepts of probability theory is the tossing of a coin. Now if a coin is tossed four times, then we may obtain 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 heads. We may also obtain 4, 3, 2, 1 or 0. Tails. But these outcomes are equivalent to 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 heads. Now, the likelihood of obtaining 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 heads is respectively 1 by 16, 4 by 16, 6 by 16, 4 by 16, and 1 by 16. Now we know that in the event of tossing a coin, the probability of getting a head is 1 by 2. And here the coin is tossed 4 times, that is here n is equal to 4. And if we want to find the probability of obtaining 0 heads, that is when r is equal to 0, then the probability capital P of the random variable capital X is equal to r is 4 C naught into 1 by 2 who is to power r that is who is to power 0 into 1 minus 1 by 2, that is 1 by 2, O raised to power n minus r, that is 4 minus 0, which is 4, is equal to, now 4 C naught is 1, 1 by 2 whole raised to power 0 is 1, and 1 by 2 whole raised to power 4 is 1 by 60. So the likelihood of obtaining 0 hertz is 1 by 60. Similarly, the likelihood of obtaining 1, 2, 3 or 4 heads is respectively 
फोर बाय सिक्सटीन सिक्स बाय सिक्सटीन फोर बाय सिक्सटीन एंड वन बाय सिक्सटीन नाउ द अदर सिचुएशन इन विच बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अराइज आर मार्केट रिसर्च पब्लिक ओपिनियन सर्वेज पब्लिक हेल्थ मेडिकल रिसर्च एंड एनिमल अबंडेंस प्रॉब्लम्स सो इन दिस सेशन यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द स्पीड एंड कॉन्टिन्यूस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड बायोग्राफ ऑफ द बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दिस कंप्लीट्स अ सेशन होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉय द सेशन